Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reaper's Cradle. Today I'm showing Naomi Rochelle. She is a Zavi kit by um, Adrice Doetti. And she's my little French girl. <laughs> she looks French to me. Um, I had a lot of French friends growing up. She reminds me a lot of one of my best friends. Anyways, I'm here to do Julie's tag. Hi, Julie. She is from The Country Cottage. I will link her video up there. And um, I haven't made videos in a while because, um, <laughs> you guys, there's so much snow on the ground. It's so disappointing. It's April 13th today, and... It's just crazy deep out there. We try and go for country drives. We can't go to our land or property because there's like six feet, seriously, six feet of snow. Yes, and my window, I don't know what's going on with the condensation. It's like, you know, I had a plumber here last week. I had a expensive repair bill on my truck. And nothing is melting. Well, the main roads are melting. But, I mean, there's so much snow. Back door. Like. <laughs> Those are pallets for a future um, project. Uh, Francis wants to build, like, um... See, and it's so cold outside. He went to change the weather. But there's so much snow. on the deck even. So, yeah, I mean, I know we live in Canada, but come on, it's April 13th. Normally, the snow is gone by now, and it's really disappointing. <sighs> really disappointing. Especially because we want to go to our land. <sighs> but, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to talk about what makes me happy, not disappointed. She has 10 questions, and I wrote them down very quickly on a index card. So, and shout out to Herlanda. If she's watching, hi, Herlanda. I was watching her live today. Whew, now I feel like I'm out of breath. Let's ask Google what the temperature is. What's the temperature? The current temperature in the paw is minus 12. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 18. Hey, what is m negative 18 Celsius to Fahrenheit? Minus 18 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 0 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. See, and it's supposed to be April. It's supposed to be like flowers and, you know, Easter. Easter is past. And here we are, still in the winter. But anyways, I'm here to change my mood. I'm here to change and talk about happy things. So number one, what makes me happy to eat? Um, lately, my homemade cooked food, my homemade pizza is a specialty of mine. If any of you are friends of mine on Facebook, you'll see. You would see lots of those pictures. 
Um, I own an Actify and a, a Flavor of Wave oven, and I use those a lot for chicken and appetizer type foods, and they're really delicious. But um, my favorite meal other than pizza is probably what we had last night is shake and bake chicken Italian seasoning with mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, and biscuits and gravy. It's not like a biscuit bun in gravy. It's like soda biscuits soaked in gravy. I love that. Um, number two. What makes me happy to plant or care for? Well, I don't plant. <laughs> and I have no pets. I have no real pe plants except for what Jeremy has. All my plants are like fake. <laughs> That's why you see like... Okay, wait, I'm just going to pat my messy room. There's socks on the floor. There's my tripod over there. Those are Jeremy's real plants. And that orange is not part of the plant. Those are my fake plants. Fake plants. Fake. I don't know if you can see those. Fake, fake, fake. Let's see if I can make it brighter. Fake. Fake. <laughs> and there's more fake ones behind me. Oh, and up there. Fake. See if I can zoom in. Fake. <laughs> fake. Fake. Yeah, I have fake. <laughs> um, however, because uh, we can spend a lot more time at the land this summer, because we're not traveling normally, we travel and we camp down south, but because we can't, we will camp at our land and uh, we thought that we would love to try some raised beds like garden beds so I'd love to care for that um, those uh, pallets that you saw in our yard we want to try and build like um, raised flower beds with those as well as um, like a small shed type thing like a, a hunter's shack kind of thing so, like a fort, a shelter. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're looking forward to that, at least. But the thing is, we're looking forward to it, and the snow is just lingering. Oh, I hope, I hope it gets warmer. Um, what makes me happy to wear is number three. To be honest with you, I still dress up like I'm going to work. I'm a teacher, and I have to dress um, black pants, a nice top. Um, I wear my, not, I haven't been wearing my finger jewelry, but I do wear my neck necklaces, my earrings, and I put on makeup. It just makes me happy that I feel like I'm ready for the day. I'm ready for anything that comes along, ready for any, um, meetings that might come online or FaceTime from coworkers or parents um, or my boss. So yeah, I, I do feel happy that I am prepared for any of that. Number four, what makes me happy? Uh, who makes me happy to talk to? Like who are the people I like to talk to that makes me happy? Um, well, a lot of you may know that Wendy and I are really great friends. We talk practically every day. We haven't spoke in a couple of days. Well, we spoke today, but we've been so busy over the weekend um, with home, like Easter and stuff. So, um, but yeah, Wendy makes me happy. Um, I like talking with Julie a lot on Facebook. Um, and who else me stacy makes me happy when i talk to her it's not very often but i do like talking to her um my mom my dad my brother <laughs> and my sons they all make me happy to talk to uh number five what makes me happy to have um honestly i'm thankful and 
feel very happy and blessed that I am able to work from home and still have that salary income. However, my term ends in June. So after June, I have no idea what's going to happen. But um, from now until June, I'm very happy that I can work from home and that we have a roof over our head, that we still have food. I'm happy that I'm able to go to the store and purchase things that our family needs or my family extended, like my mom or my dad. I don't visit them, but I will like shop for them and leave things for them at the door. But um, it just makes me feel thankful for the most part. Um, now, happy, happy. What makes me really happy? My DVD collection. <laughs> that makes me happy, I guess. And my video games. And, of course, the Reborns. I'm very thankful and happy that I have those. Um, number six. What makes me happy when I do this activity outside? I will put links to a few of my videos when we go out to the land. But we own 32 acres of pristine land. That means it's off the grid. There's only a road leading in and a turnaround. That's it. Other than that, there's like woods everywhere. There's a lake in the back. Um, tons of bugs. <laughs> But no, we love spending time at the land, like just um, day camping there. I tried camping overnight, and it's just way too scary. <laughs> but I do want to try it this summer. I want to try it this summer. I would love to have a seasonal out there. That would be so cool. Because now that we can't go anywhere else this summer, so why not our own land? But we love spending time out there. Um, Francis, he has a crossbow, so he, he target shoots with that. And we have pellet guns and that we like to target shoot and have fun with. And um, slingshots and um, just we just like spending time out there. Um, number seven, what makes me happy when I like what I watch on TV? My favorite show now is actually a show that a lot of people hate, but I really am addicted to Nani Day Fiance. Um, other than that, I don't watch the shows I watch, but here and there are like um, home renovations or home buying and selling shows, cooking shows. Um, I used to be really into like America's Next Top Model and... Uh, like shows like that, uh, Survivor, Big Brother, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm into the reality. Um, however, I still love watching reruns of like Three's Company, Golden Girls, The Love Boat. Um, I don't know all these shows from the '80s. I still love movies. I don't know. I'm I'm addicted to movies and TV series, definitely. <laughs> And they all make me happy. And I love many genres too. So. Uh, what makes me happy to listen to? I've been told that I have a huge range. A variety of music preferences. Which I do. <laughs> On my mp3 player I have like. Seriously. You name it. I have it like. You name it, name, comment something down below and I'll tell you if I have it. The only thing I really don't have is the new country. I have some new, well, no, I always skip that. I have, I love the old country, like Kenny Rogers, Rest of Soul. Um, I have the old country stuff, but I don't have a lot of the new country um, I have like 20s music, 30s music, 40s music, 50s music, 60s music, 70s music, 80s music, 90s music. <laughs> I, have, I have like um, from classical to opera to, to musicals, um, Broadway, um, <laughs> electronica, Latina, um, uh, different languages, Bollywood. Um, 
<laughs> I like rap, hip hop. I have them all. Uh, reggae. I have I have a lot. Um, my favorite right now is uh, Style Dweller, and he's an artist that does uh, heavy metal with mixed with electronica, and it's really cool. I really like it. So um, he does a lot of cool songs. Um, kind of on the old side, but like old as in 2009, around there, but I still really like it. I have like heavy metal, I have like Christmas, I have Halloween, uh, movie theme songs, um, both like orchestral and just regular songs that have been made for TV and movies. Yeah, I, I listen to them all. <laughs> Even mu I have music from Turkey, Brazil, um, um, Lebanon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a lot. Um, I even have. Oh, but well, I could go on and on about what I can listen to. But lately, Cell Dweller, Cell Dweller, especially the song um, "The End of an Empire." So, if you're curious at what that might sound like, you're welcome to look it up. Cell Dweller, uh, The End of the Empire. Anyways, uh, what makes me happy when I buy online? I don't know, I just go on to walmart.ca. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really shop online. So, yeah, I, I can't, I don't know. I don't really shop online, guys. I don't. If I do, I go to Walmart and I'll buy, like, things I need around the house, like soap, shampoo, and, um, yeah, my, you know what, my house is filled with things. I, I realize I can't, I don't need to buy anything more. I have, I'm thankful that I have, like, everything. I just don't need to buy anymore. I'm trying to reduce my household. I'm not trying to build onto it at all. So, and the last one. What makes me happy to relax in this way? I have my favorite chair here. I'm sitting on it right now. I'm not leaning back, but it's really here. I'll get up. I'll show you what kind it is. It's like, it's a rocking chair. And I know it's stained. My son stained it when he was wet and he sat in it. But it's really, really plushy. My head comes up to here, you can tell. <laughs> But, um, it's really old. This is from, like, 2011. It's, and it held up not bad. But, it, yeah, my son. Over time, though, I... So, every morning, what I do after showers, I take that and I lay it over so I don't make a stain like that. Oh, I was so upset when he did that. <laughs> but, anyways, it kind of comes out, too. And same with all these, these ends like come out and see, like this flips up into a footstool and it's so comfy. <sighs> I love that chair. So, this is me in my big chair. Oh, sorry, excuse me. See, I'm wearing my school outfit. <laughs> This is how big the the chair is in here. Uh, so can be see how I just relax, and then I can then go like this. So comfy, and this is how plush it is. And uh, I just sit here, I grab my laptop. And this is how I sit. There's me. There's me and Francis. So yeah, here's the channels I'm subscribed to. Let's see. It's from a couple of days ago. I was seeing what I wanted to watch. And I'm not only sub to um, Reborn People. 
like um, subscribe to people like Matthew. Who else is not reborn related? Tasty. Um, she does organizational stuff. Nukes top five. <laughs> I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube lately, not as much as I used to. Um, who else is not? Smart hand fashion is pretty cool. Survival dispatch. As you, some of you might know, I'm into prepping. So. Kent Survival, he's another outdoor enthusiast. Same with the Middle Village Homestead. Think Media. Who else is not reborn? Right hand fashion again. She, she has awesome tutorials. Really awesome. Uh, I can't go down anymore. But yeah. Hmm. So, yes, this is how I like to relax and then I watch my nice. I have surround sound and I love it. Play video games. Um, look at my babies. I normally have a car seat over there. Um, but I don't at the moment because the sun was shining in here earlier. And I don't like it when the sun is in their face. So I moved the car seat into the bedroom. But, yeah. So, yeah, my outfit's a little... I was working already. Tidying up and stuff around. So, but I do like to dress up like... Like I'm going to work. So that I can be somewhat productive. So, I'm going to look down here at Naomi, helping her up. Oh, she's so sweet. Naomi Rochelle. The Zemi kit. I love her. I never spent a lot of time with her in a while. So, I have so many dolls. I am very thankful for that. And I can't really sell any, so... Well, I've tried. <laughs> I just, no one wants to buy them, but I live so far away that shipping is so expensive. Speaking of styling, some of you may have known that I traded a baby with Erin, and I am getting, well, I I sent her three kits a long time ago, and she could keep two, and then she made me one as a custom. So I'm expecting my custom to come. And then she wanted to trade Rainbow Bright for some... Um, I ha I was able to choose which ones I wanted. And she said I could have two. So I'm like, okay. So I, I picked out my two that I would love to trade with her. So yes, I'm expecting three babies. Hopefully by this Friday. So I will be happy to open that. That is, the box openings is very happy. Even Happy Mail is just so wonderful. So, anyways, I'm going to go for now. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope that you're keeping safe and that you are well. And I guess I'll go for now, upload you, and try and be happier. This snow is just very disappointing. I guess I should be thankful for everything else, right? So anyways, guys, hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Herlanda. Bye, Julie. And bye, anyone else who may be watching. Match hand, guys. Match it. See you next time. Love you. Bye, guys.